A topic, a seatbelt chronicle topic. Hey, what's going on? This is your girl, Lucinda Cross. Good morning, everyone who's chiming in. Um, it is a great morning because I am a sucker for good weather. A sucker for good weather. I mean, a complete. if the sun shines a little bit, oh, your girl don't know how to act. Yep. <laughs> so I'm talking about acknowledgement. And the reason why I'm talking about acknowledgement is because a lot of people try to right their wrongs, but they don't acknowledge that they were wrong or made a, a um, they were the cause of the conflict, right? Um, a lot of people try to right their wrongs, but they don't realize that by putting a pacifier on it doesn't mean that you're acknowledging that you were wrong or either, I hate to use right and wrong word, but um, that you were the cause of um, a disconnect, a disruption, um, division, and confrontation and conflict. So here's a message for those who, one, need to acknowledge that they was wrong, right? Or they they need to pray about the person that they're seeking this apology from. And what some of us don't, don't wait and hold your breath for the apology. You're praying for the acknowledgement. And some of us fall into that position in that place. I was watching a show yesterday and this is what brought on um, this, this, this topic. What happened is the mother did not acknowledge to her son that she was ne negligent, that she was out of their life. And no, it wasn't about the son constantly throwing it in her face. It was the fact that he just wanted her to acknowledge that. Listen, I acknowledge the fact that I was absent out of your life. I acknowledge the fact that I allowed men to come first. I acknowledge the fact that I put you in unsafe situations. That's all he wanted to hear. And she wouldn't give it to him. She wanted to pacify it. Well, I did this. And I tried to do that and I kept trying to do right by you and trying to make you, but a child, it's not a child's, um, and I remember my mother used to tell me this, um, when it was pertaining to my biological father, she would say, Lucinda, it is not your job to chase after your father. It is your father's job to call you. So it's not his job. It's not your job. Well, I haven't spoken to her cause she hasn't called me. It is his job. To reach out, bend over backwards, fly, climb through the mud, go through the sewer, come out through the windows to say, I just wanted to tell my daughter good night. Bye. Right? And so we have to, if there's something that you need to acknowledge this weekend, acknowledge that you were absent. Acknowledge the fact that you caused the conflict. There was some division. Right? Acknowledge the fact that, you know what, I ignored certain things. Acknowledge the fact that, you know what, I really wasn't the best that I could have been. Acknowledge the fact that, you know what, I really didn't, I really wasn't in love with you. Acknowledge the fact that, you know what, I really didn't feel like I wasn't sexually attracted to you. Acknowledge what had happened. You don't have to go through because what what happened was, no, just they just want to know that you acknowledge the fact that, you know what, it wasn't right. What I did wasn't right. And I acknowledge that. And follow that by an apology. And I apologize sincerely for the, 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 the conflict, the division, what it puts you through. That can heal someone and save someone's life. Some people are harboring because the person they are accused, the, the, the victimizer, the, the accuser is not taking the time to own up because that's what acknowledgement is is owning up are you willing to own up so i'm gonna give you two ways that we're gonna look at this maybe even three right this saturday morning is with acknowledgement is the fact that you know what own up of what you did now we're not going to dwell in the past but know that some people are suffering 10 years 15 years 20 years because the accuser, the victimizer is not acknowledging what they did wrong. They're trying to right their wrongs by making it seem like it didn't happen. You know, well, you know, time has passed and it didn't happen. No, some, some people are still suffering from that. They're still suffering because 
there's no acknowledgement and they had to deal with it. And when they have to deal with it, they're internalizing what went on, what happened, what didn't happen. Why them? Right. And so it's important if you know you need to acknowledge something, notice someone's life can be changed as soon, in, in an instant. That's all that they will weep and release all the weight that they've been holding. The moment that we begin to acknowledge what happened. I remember the moment that I had to, God rest her soul, my mother. I had to acknowledge that I wasn't, I, I didn't treat her the way she should have been treated when I was a teenager. I, I, of course, we built our relationship after I went through my teenage years, right? Like I joke all the time and I say my teens are aliens. They're from another planet, but they don't give me half of what I gave my mother. I had to acknowledge that one day and I said, you know what? Here's this woman still loving upon me just because she's my mother. She does not have to still love on me, right? She could have X'd me out of her life, period. But I was such a, a I can't say, um, I wasn't, uh, I was just a, a, such a curious um, and, and I want to do what I want to do kind of child. And it was because of certain things that had happened, right? I felt like I needed to have certain responsibilities and felt like we were on survival mode. And I thought that I could fix it with my lack of uh, lack of wisdom and age. I thought I could fix it for a grown woman and it didn't happen. So um, I would take matters into my own hands to try to change her situation, to ultimately change my situation. But that wasn't the way to go about it. And I gave her a lot of backlash, a lot of attitude behind it. But I had to acknowledge, you know what? And just that acknowledgement released the weight that she felt because I wasn't able to provide for my children the way that I wanted to provide. And I'm glad that my daughter is acknowledging the fa that fact. And it changed our whole relationship. Because she was holding on to guilt because there were certain things that she couldn't do, wanted to do. But because we were living um, low income, you know, and, and she had to, she was on grind mode. Mom was on grind mode. Highly educated, but she was on grind mode. So we had to release that. And it started with me acknowledging it. Instead of her saying, girl, you was, a t I couldn't stand you when you was this age. And instead of me saying, well, listen, I didn't ask to be born. You know, why, why we had to go, why I had to go through all of this, right? So my point here is in saying, number one, if there's something that you need to acknowledge, Go ahead and acknowledge it today. And I, and I give you a, a, a warning with what happens when you start to acknowledge your, your wrongs and not trying to right your wrongs by pacifying them. When you begin to acknowledge that, the, you know what? Yeah, the person uh, is, is, is someone who is always, uh, maybe they have their own issues going on. But acknowledge your role in that play, in that moment. Did you have to yell? Did you have to hit? Did you have to um, ignore them for two, three years? Some of us are not even talking to people for three, four years, family member, people that we grew up with for years because of a small, because no one's willing to acknowledge. You know what? I was wrong in this situation. I could have handled this differently. Yes. All right. I see the heart stopping. So I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but acknowledge if there's something you need to acknowledge today, acknowledge it. If, and, and what we will do, what I do encourage you to do is pray for some, pray for those who are not living their life because someone else is not willing to acknowledge the wrongdoing that they have done or said or their actions or their reaction. Right. And so when you look at that with children, um, the, and, and here's the thing with these uh, abusers and stuff like that, you have to acknowledge that. You can't just let that, you know, whatever, you, whatever went on and, and now that they're grown and they moved on, if there's something wrong, they listen. And sometimes we have to facilitate that to say, listen, I, I acknowledge that dot, dot, dot. Acknowledgement is powerful and it has nothing to do with age. You can do, you can acknowledge certain things with your children. You can acknowledge certain things with your ex with your ex-husband, your ex-wife, your, you know, your ex-best friend. You can acknowledge certain things with your ex-church, right? You can just, just the acknowledgement alone is a releaser. 
And here's the warning. When you begin to start acknowledging things, there will be a severe case of burden lifting. There'll also be chronic uh, joy and laughter, right? Because now you're releasing such heavy weight, right? Um, when you receive the acknowledgement, for those who, because I believe that just off of us coming together today, some of us are going to receive the acknowledgement that, that maybe you've been waiting for for 10, 15, 20 years. Remember what I said, it's because certain people are not acknowledging things, they, you know, some people are sitting there and they're, and they're soaking and they're waiting for that acknowledgement and it'll be so freeing for them. But the warning is because you, you release so much of this, uh, well, they got to say it first. So they got it. Well, it really wasn't my fault or I only acted like that because no, let's just acknowledge it because listen, life is short. Life is short. And if we, and and I remember this one lady told me this at a presentation that I was with. She said, Lucinda, we're all just walking each other home. How sweet is that? We're all just walking each other home. And if we're all walking each other home, let's make the walk and the and the conversation throughout this walk a pleasant one. When your name comes up, it's weight free. So acknowledge it. That's all. Today is about acknowledgement. Did that support you? Just acknowledge it. Acknowledge if you wasn't a great coach. Acknowledge if you just took their money. You may not have to say, listen, I took your money because I needed to pay your bill. But just acknowledge what happened and say, you know what? I want to make this right. How can I make this right? How can we start again? Acknowledgement also comes warning sign <coughs> with a new beginning. New perception, a new perception, a, a new way of looking at things, a new way of starting things. When you start to acknowledge or you receive that acknowledgement, oh man, it's like a whole new world just opened up and it's so freeing. And as I was watching the show yesterday, I said, man, all the mother has to do with this son is acknowledge the fact that he's, he's not, he wasn't trying to throw things in her face. He's a grown man. He's a, he grew up to be a womanizer, right? Because of a, a result of it. But um, he's not saying, mom, I became a womanizer because the way you treated me. He's saying, listen, I just wanted you. I can hear it without it being said. And I was like, oh my God, I wish I was on this show right now. I need to tell them. Hold on. These lashes got to last till church. <laughs> um, but... All, she, all he needed in that moment was for her to get out of herself and say, you know what, baby? I acknowledge the fact that I neglected you as a child. And I acknowledge the fact that you had to take the long, hard road because I was so into myself and into what I didn't have and the relationship that I didn't have with your father. And I took that weight out on you. And I missed, you can miss so many years just by not acknowledging something so small that can be so big for somebody else. And so she missed at least 20 years out of her son's life. 20 years. Grandkids, everything. Because of the lack of acknowledgement. She didn't want to own up to it. She didn't want to own up to it. So that's my message today. And, um... Just remember, we are all walking each other home. Let's make this journey a pleasant one. A pleasant one. And in your prayer today, you know, take a moment to pray today. Pray for those who are waiting for that apology and that acknowledgement. Pray for those who need to give the acknowledgement because it's going to re require them to remove uh, the pride and the ego. And that means they're going to have to own up to some things that they don't want to own up to because it's past. It's old. No, it's still new in somebody's heart. So we're going to you want you to pray today in your in your secret time. Pray for those who um, are sitting there, they moved on with their lives, but they're sitting there bound because they're still seeking this acknowledgement. Pray for them, right? Pray for those who need to give the acknowledgement and the apology, right? So it's not just apologizing, it's an acknowledgement and apologizing. Um, pray for those who don't even know 
right? Because some people just don't even know. Uh, they don't know any better, right? For let's say, for lack of a better term, they don't they don't know any better. So let's pray that they get some um, knowledge and wisdom to know that wasn't right, right? Or acknowledging the fact that it wasn't your fault. So um, that's my message for today, my seatbelt chronicle. Feel free to share this um, on your pages, and I hope this has supported you. As much as it supported me and it will support my clients as I work with them. Because one thing that I do before we get into a lot of my coaching is around marketing, um, getting into the media. My coaching is around um, speaking out, speaking up, standing out and earning more. Those are the three things I work on with coaching. Speaking, speaking out, speaking up, standing out and earning more. And before we can even get to that, there's a lot of life coaching that goes in in it before I support them with getting into the media or getting their marketing um, together to reach the masses. Um, and we I go through this often. I go through this often, but acknowledgement is key. And um, I even have to assess because God will never give you a message that you don't have, that you shouldn't even look at your own self with, right? So now I have to look back and acknowledge certain things and, and do inventory to say, um, let me run down the line and see if I haven't acknowledged certain things that I may have said or done, right? Um, acknowledge some things that I may have said or done, my actions or reactions that may have been offensive without me even knowing, Sometimes you can be offensive without even knowing you're offensive. Um, so I think that's it. Pray for you all. And um, I'll see you guys later on because I want to talk about the conference. We have some good stuff coming up. If you don't have your ticket, get your ticket. I told God I want this sold out, you know, if possible, if it's his will, by July. And anytime I do my prayer on it. He never ceases to amaze me because I don't want to work on, uh, I don't want to work on last minute tickets in August when I just need to prepare on making the last experience, the great experience, right? This grand finale, great. So make sure you get your tickets, reserve your rooms, go to activateconference.com. This is your girl, Lucinda Cross, and, um, I hope to see you soon. Bye.